Awards are a widespread phenomenon in the corporate world, and indeed in most any sector of society. They take many different forms, ranging from small pins, medals and needles, to large trophies and prizes. In our work on awards, my co-author Bruno Frey and I, we distinguish between two basic types of awards. Firstly, there are confirmatory awards, which are based on clearly defined and well-observable performance criteria, and which are given in specified, regular intervals. So these confirmatory awards are highly automated and they serve as explicit incentives for employees. In contrast, discretionary awards rely on broad performance evaluations and may be used ex post to honor outstanding performance, even if that performance cannot be readily quantified, as is the case, for example, with many organizational citizenship behaviors. Now, in our article, we discuss how awards help firms create and capture firm-specific value and how this process of value creation and capture is contingent on specific organizational characteristics and resources. While money risks crowding out employees' intrinsic motivation, awards have the potential to enhance it, and we draw on motivation theory and the emerging empirical literature on awards to substantiate this claim. Besides this direct motivational effect, awards can also create value for firms by allowing management to establish role models whose behavior others then try to emulate. Some firms, for example, celebrate corporate heroes who personify the firm's values, or other firms use awards to raise awareness about the organizational safety standards and the importance of respecting these on a daily basis. These are some of the mechanisms of how awards create value for firms. We also discuss how awards can be important for value capture, in particular since they establish special bonds of loyalty between the giver and the recipient, and so they can help firms retain valuable employees. But we also caution, because there is no one-size-fits-all award scheme. Designing and implementing an effective award program involves choosing among many different award dimensions, which we also outline and summarize in a table. Exemplary choices to be made include whether to add a financial component or not, or whether to define explicit performance criteria ex ante. Finding the right constellation of award dimensions such that the program fits to the organization's characteristics is difficult, and a poorly des designed award program risks destroying value for firms, for example, due to envy, strategic behavior, or resignation. This issue of value destruction has indeed been largely neglected by the empirical literature on awards so far. We discuss what evidence there is and then identify major sources of value destruction pertaining to both parties, the award recipients and also non-recipients. We propose which award characteristics are particularly prone to giving rise to the single form, forms of value destruction and also how to mitigate the risks. Of course, any discussion of how to design effective award programs that create rather than destroy value also involves taking into account the particular firm's characteristics. So in another part, we consider how the design of effective award programs is contingent on the firm's nature of production and also on firm scope and scale. Focusing on the most relevant award dimensions and firm characteristics, our last part then derives empirical implications on when we should see award programs succeed. With this set of implications, we aim to provide useful information for practitioners and invite them, as well as researchers, to reflect on specific design choices and their varying implications. In our appendix, we also provide a table that gives an overview of the current state of the empirical literature on the performance effects of awards. This table is sorted according to different fields and the performance dimensions targeted and it briefly presents the type of award, the research design used, and also the results reached by the respective studies. In our article, we shift the focus away from single awards to whole award programs and the major award characteristics to be considered. We aim to provide a framework that is useful for future research on awards and non-monetary rewards more generally and we intend to show how many interesting and relevant questions still remain to be explored. Needless to say, I'm happy to discuss this article and the topic of awards more generally, so please feel free to contact me by email. Thank you.